Oh my goodness, you guys. So I've been on YouTube for right at three years. I think like next month makes three years. And I've been so particular with the products that I share with you guys. I've literally probably had about a hundred emails from companies wanting me to, um, to promote their product, but I've only promoted three products. I think it's like three products on my time on YouTube because I'm not going to promote anything that I do not love myself. And I'm not going to tell you guys that you should buy something if I would not spend my hard earned money on it as well. But let me tell you guys, I'm in love with these candles. So recently, a small business, privately owned, um, reached out to me called The Poor House. They have candles. The Poor House, get it? Um, cute play on words. And they have these candles and some of them are like... Um, food scented. They have one called the birthday cake. They have marshmallow fireside. They have ginger snaps. Um, and, oh, funnel cakes. Not only do they have your candles, but you have your wax melts as well. Now we got these uh, last Friday and we've already burnt it down to this. And this one has sat in my kitchen ever since I got it. When you open it up, it is a little, at first it's like, whoa, because it's not what you're expecting. This is like a fruity, my husband was like, I think it smells like key lime pie. At first, I was like, I think it smells like Fruity Pebbles. I don't know, but it has my kitchen smelling delicious. Ever since I got it, my kitchen smells like I have something about to pop out of the oven. Now, this is the other one that I got. It's called Cotton and Amber, and it smells like that fresh, clean smell that you want like your bathroom or your living room to smell like, and that's where I've been keeping this one. I alternate it between my bathroom and my kitchen. You guys, it smells so good. Once again, I've been burning this one since I got it as well. Now, Wax Melt, Breakfast of Champions, same as the candle. I got Bougie, to which my daughter actually popped one of the uh, blocks out the other day. And she tried that one out, and it smelled so good as well. We have Cactus and Sea Salt. We have Funnel Cake. I'm really excited about Funnel Cake because I love a good Funnel Cake. So, I'm super excited about this one. You guys, check out their website. They have um, a Peter Mon collection. They also have... Uh, part of the site where you can go to their best sellers. I was looking at some of the reviews and all of the reviews are five stars. It is a small business, you guys. I love to support a small business. Um, more than just supporting a company that I really love, I really love to support a small business. So I'm going to leave a link in the description box below to the website. If you are a candle person, let me tell you, you're going to want to check this website out. And even if you're not a candle person and you just want your kitchen to smell like you always got something about to pop out of the oven, go check out this website get you some candles. They're not expensive either, you guys. I'm a candle person. I buy candles on a regular. And $4, you're not going to break the bank for these candles. Uh, they smell so good and they're really uh, inexpensive as well. So go check them out. And if you make a purchase, please get my email from the description box below as well. And let me know that you made a purchase. And then after you receive these, let me know your thoughts on them. I bet you, I guarantee you, you're going to love them just as much as I do. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to talk about Farrah Abraham. And once again, people are mad at her. She's getting a lot of backlash because her daughter, Sophia, she just turned 13 on February 22nd, I think it was. And she had this big grunged theme birthday party, this big old bash. And um, for her present, her mom took her to get her septum pierced right here you guys and a lot of people are mad about it now some people are not some people are like it's fine you know it's no different than getting your ears pierced I do think that's a little bit different I think it's a little bit different um I've read so many comments about this and there's people that's just okay with it there's some people that's like I don't care and not my child not my business and there's some people that's like no this is not okay there's some people that's even like someone call CPS and I'm like well that's taking it a little too far I don't know if you should call CPS um so in the comments there were also people saying we should not judge her um so I'm gonna go ahead and put it out there I'm not judging I'm not judging her at all she is a public figure Fair is a public figure. Sophia is a public figure. And she she has music. She has music videos. She has a following. You know, they posted videos and pictures of her getting it done and afterwards. Um, So, you're going to have a comment. You're going to have a thought. You know, everyone that sees this, they're going to have an opinion. And that's my job is to get on here and tell you guys about things that are going on and give my opinion about it. I'm not judging her, though. Um, It's her, her kid, her business. If she thinks it's okay, that's okay. I don't have to agree with her, but I'm just letting you guys know. I'm not judging. I'm just sharing my opinion. Now, critics are slamming Farrah Abraham uh, for allowing her daughter, Sophia, to get her septum pierced for her 13th birthday. 
Sophia turned 13, Farrah commemorated her daughter becoming a teenager with this grunge theme bash. They also had a photo shoot. Uh, the past few years, we've watched Farrah from birth. I mean, Sophia from birth. Um, and even though they're no longer on Team Mom, they are very active on social media. So, we've literally still got to watch Sophia grow up. Come into her own a little bit. Which, she's not grown by no means. But, she does act like she's grown. Um, her style has changed a good bit over, like, the past year and a half, I would say. Over, like, the past year and a half, she's went, what's it called? I don't remember what it's called, but it's like a grunge theme. You know, now she's got purple hair, black lipstick, um, dark eyes. So she's got this, I don't remember what it's called. You guys help me out. I want to say emo, but I'm not, I don't know. Um, but she's, she's experimenting with her looks, um, with the style that she wants. A little dark, you know, but we all go through those stages where we're trying to figure out who we are, what kind of clothes we like, how we like our hair to be styled, um, and that's what she's doing right now. Um, and it looks like she wanted to take her look a little bit more dramatic by getting this piercing right here. Um, so, for her birthday, she asked Farah if she could get, you know, that piercing, and Farah obviously doesn't see a problem with it. So, on Wednesday night, Farrah took to her Instagram uh, to share screenshots from Sophia's piercing. Now, in the first picture, Sophia posed with a closed mouth smile, showing off her new piercing, in which Farrah captioned the photo, Happy Birthday, my teen, at Sophia L. Abraham. In the second photo, um, it shows Sophia actually getting the piercing, and it says, At Sophia L. Abram, got her birthday wish. Oh, my goodness, you guys. I got my nose pierced, and... They use like a big needle and, you know, really quick. Let me tell you guys, I flinched. My eyes watered. It hurt for a second. I'm going to show you guys the video of her getting her nose pierced or her, her septum pierced. Um, but just be warned, there's flashing, 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 flashing. So, if you cannot handle uh, flashing, skip through it. Don't watch it because there is a lot of flashing. So, go ahead and take a look at Sophia getting her septum pierced and the fact that she literally did not even flinch. Okay, you guys, so I just have to say, Sophia handled that like a champ. Like, she handled her septum getting pierced better than I handled my nose getting pierced. Probably better than I handled my ears getting pierced. I don't know, but I was, like, shocked by the fact that she didn't even appear to flinch. She literally took it like a champ. Um, below the video, she captioned it by saying, I got my septum piercing at four for my birthday. I am so happy how it turned out. I am the first person in my family to get a septum piercing at 13. Birthday wish came true. And then her mom, Farrah, in the comment section, she commented by saying, Sophia the first, the greatest, the best, breaking, was it called glass ceilings? Oh my gosh, come on. The first 13-year-old in the family to get a septum piercing. Birthday wish come true. Happy memories. Love you, Epic 13. Why are they acting? One thing first, it's not I'm the first to get a septum piercing in my family. It's the first 13-year-old to get a septum piercing. How many 13-year-olds do you have in your family? Are you saying, like, everyone just passed up that age and didn't get... They're acting like this is an accomplishment. Like, Sophia is like the first president, woman president. You know what I'm saying? Sophia the first, the greatest. Just like, oh my goodness. What? The first 13 year old in the family could accept a piercing. So strange. Anyways, anyways, they seem all happy about it, right? But a lot of people are not happy about it. Um, personally, I do feel like, you know, not my child. I don't really care. But if it was my child, it would be absolutely no. Don't even think about that. You're not even gonna, don't even ask me. If you can get your septum pierced at 13 years old. You're lucky if I let you get your ears pierced at that age. You know what I'm saying? But definitely not. Um, comments. Now, I had one of my uh, viewers tell me not too long ago, like, LB, I love your channel, but you read way too many comments. So, note taken. I can't get carried away with them. I'm going to read a few comments to uh, 
to the video of Sophia getting her septum pierced. So one person wrote, no ma'am, you only 13, shaking my head. Another one said, she's too young for that. Wow, no way, no way I would let my 13 year old do this. She is 13 too and I wouldn't. Are you serious? A septum piercing for a 13 year old? She is still a baby. Yeah, and she's probably going to be 15 and pregnant soon. I'm not even surprised. Fair gonna let that child do whatever she wants. Farrah's parents were super strict, and that didn't exactly help her out. So, I think allowing Sophia to express herself is fine. It can be taken out and will close up. It's not like a tattoo. And I do kind of understand that. Like, um, I was reading comments where they said you can kind of flip it up and hide it. You can take it out. But one thing about this comment that I think rings so true is Farrah's parents were super strict. So, I think she's trying to be like the complete opposite. But I think it's going to come back to bite her in the butt. I really do. I think Sophia is going to be a force to be reckoned with in the next few years. Like, I really do believe that. Just the other day, I was reading somewhere where Farrah was like, I needed to take a break from Sophia. And I'm like, why though? Why is she bad? Is she bad? Is she rude? What is it? Because I really feel like Farrah being so laid back and letting Sophia, you know, be herself and do whatever she wants to this degree is really gonna, it's not gonna work out well for her. But I do feel like it's because Farrah's parents were so strict that she's just not strict at all. And she looks at it as like, well, I'm just letting Sophia figure out who she is. But at 13 years old, you know, even at six years old, we want weird things. Like, that it's our parents' job to be like, eh, no, that's not okay. You really can't do that, you know? Um, so, some things I can understand. A septum piercing, like I said, I wouldn't do it. Someone said, doesn't even care what Farrah does with her anymore. She better just don't complain to us later in Sophia's teen life. Too much for a 13-year-old at 13. She should have waited till she was 16. A lot of people are saying that maybe they should have at least waited till she was 16, that 13 is just too young. Now, in Farrah's current state that she's living in right now, which is California, she said she was moving, but it looks like this piercing took place in California. And in California, it is legal for someone under the age of 18 to get a septum piercing um, as long as they have their parents' permission, which we know Farrah signed off on this. Now, this is not the first and it won't be the last time that Farrah has come under fire for her parenting style. Um, last December, critics bashed Farrah for allowing uh, Sophia, who then was 12 years old, to wear heavy makeup and adult attire for their virtual Christmas card. In November 2021, Farrah came under fire for exploiting Sophia in a video in which the then 12-year-old shook her behind alongside her mom. And a list of other things. I think I actually have a video of like several things that Farrah's done wrong as a like, bad parenting one-on-one -on -one is what I think it's called. I'll try to find it and link it in the description box below. But, yeah, you guys tell me your thoughts. What do you guys think about Sophia getting her septum pierced at 13? The day that she turned 13. So, she's freshly 13. It's not like the last day that she's turning 13. She's almost 14. First day at 13. Now, once again, not my child. Not much care about it. That's their decision. But if it was my child, I would not do it. Um, maybe when she got 18, if my child wanted to do it, then okay. But definitely not 13 for sure. What do you guys think? Do you think people are overreacting by, you know, saying people need to call CPS because of this? Leave me your opinion in the comment section below. Also, if you're not subscribed to the channel yet, please do me a huge favor and hit the subscribe button down below. Thumbs up, comment, and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you.